Hey everybody, it is Andrew here with iDownload Blog. Today we are going to take a first look at Siri on macOS Sierra. That's right, the new flagship feature of Apple's forthcoming operating system for Mac is Siri. So what can Siri do? Well, it does everything that we've seen Siri do in the past on the iPhone. Plus, with new developer APIs, we'll see a lot of new features like being able to hail an Uber or a Lyft right from Siri. And there are a lot of specific things you can do on Siri that work just on Mac, such as opening folders or opening specific files. If you don't know what you can ask Siri, just ask Siri and she'll provide a helpful list. So let's take a look at the Mac specific things. For instance, I can say, show me what I worked on today. And Siri can find any files that were modified today. Obviously, I can change that timeline. What did I work on yesterday? What did I work on this week? And Siri will always provide relevant results. It's also really neat for searching for file names. So I could ask for, you know, show me all the files that have screenshot or show me all the files that were tagged with draft. Once you have those results, if it's something that you query often, you can actually save them. So if I hit that plus icon in the top right hand corner, it'll add it to the today view of notification center. So for instance, I look at a lot of screenshots. I'm screenshotting often and I'm using them in posts and videos. So if I were to take another screenshot right now, it's added to my desktop here. But if I open up my notification center, it'll actually rerun that query and update it. So now there are four images with screenshots. So if I looked for, show me all the images that had screenshot that were taken today. You know, I'd be able to see just any files that I'm currently working with, and I find that to be really useful, and that's something that I really like to have pinned right inside of Notification Center. Siri has been able to open up applications for a while, but now on Mac, you can actually use her to open up specific folders. Other than those kind of Mac-specific features, this is the same old Siri that we've come to know and love. She can do everything we used to do in the past, like find me directions to the nearest Apple store, and obviously using location services on your Mac, she can plan that route. And it makes it really nice because you can use handoff and pass these directions that you look up on your Mac straight over to your iPhone. So now let's get into the nitty gritty and all these settings and configurations we can do with Siri. Now, unfortunately, there are not too many. Basically, right now, you can access Siri using that icon down in your dock or in the icon in the top right hand corner of your menu bar. If you go into System Preferences and then Siri, there are a few other options that you can change, such as setting up a keyboard shortcut. So first up on the list is Language. Right now I just have English installed, but you can choose different languages to use Siri in, as well as different voices. So I'm using the most common one, just the American female. Also really nice is that voice feedback. So it's actually whether or not you want to hear Siri talk to you, or you just want to see that text showing up in the screen. You can also choose which mic to use and it'll automatically choose based if you have one plugged in or not. And then if you would like to use a keyboard shortcut, which I highly recommend. Unfortunately, there's no way to say, hey Siri, that actually won't do anything. So the only way to really activate her uh, other than the two icons is setting up that keyboard shortcut and Apple recommends function space though you can choose your own. If you don't want those icons hanging around, you can obviously drag the icon off of the dock or uncheck this box here to remove it from the menu bar. And then of course we have the option to just enable or disable Siri altogether. As far as Siri's voice goes, there's actually not anything different. This is gonna be the same Siri, so the voice that you hear on the Mac should pretty much be, at least in my testing in English, the exact same voice you're going to hear on the iPhone, iPad, or anywhere else that you use Siri. However, if you do wanna hear what Siri sounds like on the Mac and are expecting anything different, I'm gonna ask Siri what movies are opening this weekend. I found a few movies coming out this weekend. So there you have it, she really does sound pretty much exactly the same as she does on the iPhone. If you have any questions on Siri for Mac, go ahead and let us know and read our full write-up over on IDB. Otherwise, please subscribe for our other new updates on Apple's new software. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.